Denver, Colorado, the man, not the place. Gonna be calling this match alongside Veda Scott. Thank you for joining me. What up? I'm here. You're here? Yep. You know who else is here? Jordan Grace. And you know who else? Lufisto. I know, I, I decided to come up here and help you call this Women's Wrestling Revolution Showcase match here at C5. Uh, I guess you could call it scouting the competition. I don't really see Jordan Grace as much competition. I mean, I did beat her in our both of our singles encounters. Well, the record books don't lie. I mean, there, there were other subsequent matches uh, that we're not gonna necessarily discuss the conclusion of, I'll, but... I'll, 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 I'll let singles, you address that if you'd like singles, to. No, in singles encounters, I am 2-0 over Jordan Grace. Uh, however, in terms of my record with Mufisto here and beyond, I don't have any, because this is her first This is her first official Beyond Wrestling match. The first time Mufisto has ever competed Ooh. in Beyond Wrestling, an independent wrestling legend, a trailblazer. What an honor, what a privilege to be able to call this match. All right, cool it a little bit, Denver. Whoa! I will say, some impressive mat wrestling here from Lufisto. Legend and Trailblazer is a great way to describe her. A trailblazer, not just in women's wrestling, but uh, but in intergender wrestling. I mean, really, the, the first- Deathmatch wrestling. Deathmatch wrestling. Lufisto, really, the first, I would say, mainstream, um, in America at least, gender wrestler came here, won championships that were traditionally held by men. Uh, that was what, like 20 years ago, something like that? 20, that's, 30? That's, that's not nice. That's not nice, and that's also not accurate. Uh, I will say this, though. Both competitors, you see similar size, both very strong, low center of gravity. The one thing that benefits Jordan is that she doesn't have as many miles on her body. She's not as beat up as Lufisto, but that comes at a price. She doesn't have as much experience. She doesn't have as much knowledge between the ropes as Lufisto, and I think that Jordan is gonna be in a tough spot. I think she's gonna be fighting an uphill battle for most, if not all, of this match. Oh, right here, right here, Jordan, Jordan is managing to get the upper hand, but Lufisto not going down easy. Well, all right, that's some of that veteran awareness. Exactly, like similar, similar stature, but that's the thing. If Jordan Grace, if Lufisto sensed, okay, Jordan's a little bit stronger than me, then I'm gonna put her face down on the mat where she can't utilize that strength. That's the veteran wherewithal of Lufisto. Jordan really, whoop, she got the ropes, got a break. It's considerate of Lufisto, she did have till five. <laughs> yeah, we don't want we don't want Cold Steel jumping in and ruining another match. All right, a little separation here, giving her some room. Ooh. You know what I like about this match? No bad blood between these two competitors. Hopefully, you're gonna see a fair fight start to finish. Again, this is a showcase match for Women's Wrestling Revolution. The return date to FET Music in Providence, Rhode Island on Saturday, July 30th. We will be seeing both of these competitors in action. And this commentator in action, thank you. Well, you've got a little bit of a showcase match a little, a little bit later on at Gigantic against Alexis. Yep, that, oh. I'll let you know right now. I'll give you a little spoiler. Alexis, she doesn't like to go hold for hold. She's gonna try and punch you in the teeth. No, I know. Uh, so here's the thing about Alexis. We've never been in the ring together in a singles match. It's one that I admittedly have wanted for a while uh, because I want to test myself against the best, and she is one of the best in New England, period. Yeah, when you, th uh, when you think of women's wrestling in New England, you probably think... Oh! I'm sorry, you probably think of Alexis, but when you, you think of uh, wrestling going on right now, you think of Lufisto and Jordan Grace slapping the hell out of each other. Oh, God. Ooh, goes out hard with that elbow. Man, that was pinpoint. Took her right down. Ah! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah! The cannonball, the face wash. That is some trademark Lufisto offense right there. Lufisto is proud of her handiwork. She 
She hasn't beat her yet, though. She knows what works for her. She's been doing it for a long time. A long, long time. Ooh. Targeting that collarbone. That's the easiest bone in the body to break. Been a lot of broken collarbones going around in wrestling recently, actually. Oh, heard that. Jordan Grace is just floored right now. She's trying to get back up to a vertical base. She's trying to use the ropes to assist her, but Lufisto is firmly in control. Ooh. How about the smile on Lufisto's face? That tells the entire story. She loves what she does. Oh yeah, she's pretty happy about this. And she does it well. Uh-oh, ow! Jordan, though, kind of close to the ropes here. Maybe Lupisto doesn't care. She figures she's probably going to tap her out anyway. I'm not even sure that Jordan knows how close she is or else. Oh, no. Curb stomp. It's a nice little exclamation point. Could be it. Ah! Kick to the whatever. She does squat like a million pounds, she says, though there's something to kick. Hey, why not target the biggest muscles in the body? You can knot up that leg. You can really take that wheel out from underneath your opponent. They're going to be stumbling around, especially Jordan. As much as she squats, like you said, relies heavily on that power-based offense. Right, and Lufisto is also working heavily on the back and the shoulders, too. Jordan Grace isn't going to be lifting anything. You know, I know that you've taken a lot of digs at Lufisto's age, but she it's is not, in it. No, no, no. It's not her age. It's just the fact that sometimes you have to look at yourself and wonder, I don't know, like, has... Has my time come and gone? I know she, she looks great right here, I'll say that. But when you call her Trailblazers, when you call her right here, it's because it's all been said and done already, Denver, Colorado. It's a new day, it's a new age. But, she, but that's the thing, is when you see the way that she wrestles these matches, if she can find herself in a position where she can dictate the pace, she oh! likes to take her time and draw things out. I mean, she's a bit of a bully, we can see this. I, can't, I might not I, disagree with you right there. I can't there. get behind that. Oh, big lotus lock from Lufisto. That looks that looks a little familiar, actually. Um, whoa, whoa, into a pin, into a pin. But look at that. Into a Able to transition lock. the hole. Jordan trying to fight free Lufisto, just shut her down. One well-placed strike between the shoulder blades. Oh, ow! Ow, 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 ow! Seeing the submission versatility firsthand. Very different than the match that we saw against Kimberly back at the inaugural Women's Wrestling Revolution Project XX event at FET Music. Where that fight went all around the building, they broke an exit sign. Well, I think Lufisto, as we were saying before, she knows what Jordan Grace can do in terms of her power. And she's gonna break her down by actually just like working her down with submissions. Even if she can't get her to tap out, she can keep her from being able to use any of that power based offense. Well, it doesn't seem like Jordan Grace has a lot of counters for these holds. The biggest no. problem is that because of her size, Lufisto can't keep these holds locked in for too long of a period of time because the amount of energy that it requires from Lufisto. I mean, obviously, if you're in a hold, uh, you're, you know, there's uh, resistance from the opponent who's trying to put you away. They're trying to escape. They're not just gonna sit there and take it. Yeah, I do. Thanks, thanks from the peanut gallery. However, if you if you study tape of Jordan Grace or wrestled her like I have, you know that perhaps submission wrestling is not necessarily her strength. I mean, it's no, no offense, Beta, but look at the size difference between you and Lufisto. She can apply a lot more of her weight right. to, into those holes. Oh. Okay, or you can just get kicked in the nose. Yeah. So you want to take it to Jordan with something that maybe perhaps is not necessarily her strength. You don't want to go Oh, to God, I think oh. she just knocked her out. No. The tides are turning right now. Okay, she just, she just punched her in the back of the freaking head. Well, you can't beat her at the submission Put game. The hair, You're not going to be able to beat her at the striking game. Or maybe you can't beat her at the cheating game either. Hair. Oh, look at this spit on her. That's gross. You don't have to get nasty here. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! It's that fighter's instinct. Lufisto keeps trying to get back up to her feet to protect herself. Just, just get knocked adrenaline. back down. She blocked that. It looked like Jordan was going for that stalling suplex. Another unique submission here. This could be it. This could be it. Oh, she's got the trailer hitch applied. Jordan's real far from 
those ropes. Well, it's virtually impossible to escape from this hold. But the biggest problem is you have to carry your weight and your opponent's weight across the ring to get to the ropes. That's the strength on display from Jordan right there. Grace. A lot of adrenaline, a lot of desperation. Well, I think Jordan does not want this to go back to a striking game. No. Oh, oh Fisto does. Lufisto resetting the count, which indicates to me that she's trying to do a lot more damage on the outside. Yeah. She loves to utilize her environment. She's uh, playing by the rules technically, I guess you could say. Okay, you've been in the ring with Jordan at this point. I mean, what does Jordan have to do to change her strategy? Oh, uh, well, that'll work a little bit. You almost wonder if Lufisto is lulling her into a false sense of security, though. Boom, right there with the head bump. One chop yeah, to the damage I mean, of 10 from Jordan Grace. Oh. Sweeps out the legs, hitting the hardest part of the ring. I mean, no pun intended here, but Jordan might be playing a game of rope a dope here with Lufisto. I'm not Lufisto, familiar with this term. Lufisto's been going at 100 miles an hour this entire match. What, right there she goes again. Surprising agility out of Jordan Grace. Oh, this sucks. That's even worse. It's very painful. You got a pin her, Jordan. Taking a couple extra seconds to drag her no. away from the ropes, and that could have been the difference between this match being over. But this contest will continue. Sabu? Trying to build momentum? Oh, no! Oh, wow, she had that sliding D countered. Two, two, three. Nope. Oh! oh shit. Right to the side of the skull. This could be it. One, no! Just a second away. I thought she knocked her out. Jordan not getting back up on her own power there. Well, Lufisto's been doing her homework, and even as a veteran scouting all of her opponents, you've got to give her credit for that. Ooh. Jordan Grace likes to utilize the diamond dust from this position. Can she connect? There it is. Oh, snap of the head back of her opponent. That's like a whiplash effect. This one might be out. No. Crowd. Crowd is definitely behind Jordan Grace at this point. Well, Jordan Grace has had more appearances for Beyond Wrestling. You still got to think, though, a lot of these fans are more familiar with Lufisto's extensive body of work over the past 15, 20 years. Oh, man! Now, see, that's a great way to use your opponent's weight against them. That's a great way to use a Saino suplex and not get the win with it, Denver, Colorado. Would you have beaten Jordan Grace with that? I absolutely have. I would have, 100%. Well, maybe maybe you're the veteran that should be teaching Lufisto how to wrestle. I don't, I wouldn't say that necessarily. I'm just offering some suggestions, some constructive criticism. Lufisto. Going up to the high rent district. Maybe a superplex of some sort here? Hey. Can she find her footing? These ropes no. are very high. Yeah, you're, this is an unusually high ring. It's it's Jordan. It's New England. Everything is custom built. Jordan, go for that power bomb. Go! Oh, impact into the pit. No, still couldn't keep her down. This is where the inexperience of Jordan Grace is coming into play. She's losing her cool, she's getting frustrated. That's when you get sloppy. That's when you make mistakes. Jordan Grace does have a history of beating opponents with that very powerbomb off the Sunset Flip powerbomb off the top rope. Going for another powerbomb, perhaps? Maybe a pile driver. No. Oh, oh man, a very physical match. Oh! Back fist! He's got her arms hooked. Oh! And that's how you do it! Yes, well, Veda Scott, thanks for joining me. A women's wrestling revolution showcase match here at Beyond Wrestling. We're gonna be back at Fet Music on July 30th. And Veda, I wish you all the luck for your upcoming match tonight at Gigantic against Alexis. Don't need it, but thank you.